The use of artificial intelligence is rising rapidly, not just in the United States, but all over the world. And while some people love it, the technology also raises some fear and concerns. This week, our WPBF 25 News Morning Team is exploring AI to help you understand it better. You've probably interacted with AI and not even know that you did it. Voice assistants like Siri and Alexa are founded on that same technology. But would you trust AI with your health? Mm. I spoke to scientists about that. They tell me the research they're doing right now has promising advances. In this office at the Cleveland Clinic's South Florida location in tradition. What are we looking at here? So this is one of the ongoing research projects. Staff scientist Adrian Reich dedicates his days to researching advances in medical treatment and how to better tailor them to patients. You need to protect all of the organs around it, for example. He specializes in using a quantum computer. Think of it as a regular computer, but with more capabilities and more powerful. It ingests information and produces more sophisticated, extensive solutions to problems. Reich says artificial intelligence Intelligence is now being studied to and use in quantum computers to make even more advances. Use. It would quickly analyze medical records for personalized medicine. Now you're dealing with someone's health, but you seem to be excited and confident about it. There are some uh, avenues of research where AI can be incredibly beneficial in order to digest a giant data set that a human would be able to quickly go through and quickly identify, yes, this patient should be paired with this drug. The research is a team effort with tech company IBM. The Cleveland Clinic studies using their software for the next decade. You're going to have some patients that are doing way, way better than others. But with personalized medicine, the real goal is to basically have everybody have fantastic outcomes. And so as you heard there, he's a scientist, a lot of years of experience. He's excited about this, excited yeah. about these advances. Nathalie, like you talked about earlier, though, the people will have some concerns. Yeah. And he talked a little bit about how we really have to be careful when we look into this future about medical records that AI analyzes because HIPAA laws are different in certain states. And you have to de-identify that information so you really just get the, the medical information to, again, analyze it and better treat patients more personally. But, you know, there's excitement, but there's also some of that trepidation when it comes to maybe, you know, yeah. hackers finding information or something so like that. So much more to it, right, than, yes. we, than we even realize. And like we said, our morning team will be looking into AI all week long and kind of going into these different kinds of topics. And Sandra, tomorrow, you're going to be talking about how AI impacts